For what purpose does the gentleman from California seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass the bill S-144. The clerk will report the title of the bill. Senate 144, an act to authorize the Secretary of Health and Human Services, acting through the Director of the Indian Health Service, to acquire private land to facilitate access to the Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center in Hammett, California, and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from California, Mr. Hoffman, and the gentlewoman from New Mexico, Ms. Harrell, each will control 20 minutes. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from California, Mr. Hoffman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days in which to revive and revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous material on the measure under consideration. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentleman from California is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. S-144 authorizes the Indian Health Service, or IHS, to purchase land in Hemet, California for the purpose of constructing a paved road that facilitates access to the Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center. IHS will then maintain the road or enter into an agreement with Riverside County, California to maintain the road. This critical legislation will expand health care access to American Indian and Alaska Native youth in California by ensuring that the Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center can be reached by safe roadways. Prior to 2016, indigenous youth in California experiencing substance use disorders were forced to travel to out-of-state facilities in order to receive care. Recognizing this added barrier to quality care, IHS built the Desert Sage Wellness Center in Hemet, California. The center is notable for providing culturally sensitive treatment to indigenous youth battling substance use disorders, and it can hold up to 32 patients at a time. Unfortunately, during the center's construction, IHS was unable to reach an agreement with adjacent property holders on the pavement and maintenance of an access road. As a result, the center is currently accessible only by a dirt road that is often washed out from heavy rainfall or is in a general state of disrepair. The center remains the sole IHS youth regional treatment facility in the state, and it's a much needed resource to California, American Indian, and Alaska Native communities. However, the center's physical inaccessibility poses yet another obstacle to indigenous youth seeking care. This bill will solve the issue by granting IHS the authority to acquire the necessary nearby land in order to build an operational access road. I want to thank Senator Feinstein for moving this important bill through the Senate, as well as our colleague, Representative Raul Ruiz, for championing the House version of the bill. I urge swift adoption of S-144 and reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from California reserves the balance of his time. Uh, the gentlewoman from uh, New Mexico is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentlewoman from New Mexico, Ms. Harrell is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. S-144 would authorize the Secretary of Health and Human Services, acting through the Director of Indian Health Services, IHS, to purchase land from willing sellers at fair market value to facilitate access to the Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center in Hamet, California. In March 2017, IHS opened California's first youth regional treatment center in Hamet, California, the Desert Sage Youth Wellness Center, and it was designed to be, it was designed as a co-ed inpatient facility to serve native youth aged 12 to 17 with substance abuse and co-occurring disorders. The facility is located approximately a half a mile from a paved county road According to IHS, a half a mile access road was granted under an easement from two landowners at the time construction began on the facility. Unfortunately, the IHS was unable to come to a purchase agreement with the landowners by the time the construction was completed. To secure access to the facility, the IHS is requesting purchasing authority since authorities previously granted have since expired for this facility. It is my understanding that this road has historically been dirt and gravel, and it can be washed out in heavy rains, thus affecting access to the facility. Once the title to the access road is acquired, the IHS can make improvements specifically to pave the road, which will provide better and safer access to the Desert Sage facility for staff, native youth, Sinki care, and visitors. After the necessary improvements are made, S-144 provides that the IHS can continue to own and maintain the road 
or it can enter into an agreement with Riverside County, California for the county to own, maintain, and manage the road. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time. Gentleman from New Mexico Resource, gentleman from California is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I have no further requests for time and am prepared to close, so I will reserve uh, the balance of my time. Gentleman reserves, uh, gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. I, I, re um, I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlewoman from New Mexico yields back the balance of her time. The gentleman from California is recognized. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. I urge my colleagues to support this legislation and yield the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. The question is, members, will the House suspend the rules and pass Senate Bill 144? Those in favor say aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative of the rule. This is gentleman, uh, South, South Carolina. The yeas and nays. Pursuant to Section 3S of House Resolution 8, the yeas and nays are ordered. Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, further proceedings on this question are postponed. <laughs>